We want this government to list the entire class of PFAS as toxic under the Canadian Environmental Protection Act and strengthen regulatory action to ban PFAS in products. They're called forever chemicals because they never biodegrade in the environment or in the human body. And environmental groups say it's time for Canada to start getting tough with the class of chemicals known as PFAS. If you need a reason to ban these chemicals as a class, simply ask a firefighter if they have lost a colleague, a friend, or even a family member to a firefighting related cancer and I'm sure you'll be shocked at just how many have. PFAS or per and polyfluoral alkyl substances are synthetic chemical compounds that have been widely used in the 20th and 21st centuries. They're used to waterproof clothes and firefighting equipment and foams and in household goods like non-stick pans, cosmetics and pharmaceuticals. A 2023 study from the University of Toronto found PFAS in Canadian fast food packages. These chemicals have been linked to testicular cancer, thyroid diseases, and can cause developmental problems in unborn children. Any children are born with PFAS already in their bodies. And they accumulate throughout their lifetime just by living in the Arctic and practicing their ancient lifestyle. Listing the entire class just, op just ensures that the government then can go ahead and regulate PFAS and they, can, they have flexibility with respect to how they can regulate within that class once it's listed. The federal government published a draft report on PFAS in Canada last year finding forever chemicals in the surface water of every province sampled and in crops, wildlife and people. It recommends a class-wide approach to PFAS given the impossibility of doing enough research to fill in all the gaps in information. City News reached out to Environment Minister Stephen Guibault for comment. His office did not respond in time for deadline. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News.